It was a beautiful sunny Sunday. At least it had been the last time Bill looked outside. It was 11.15 p.m. the next time Bill glanced at his watch. He had been working all evening preparing for the big annual sales event that was to start. This wasn't supposed to be my job, but I'm stuck here working all day and night. Janice just doesn't care. She doesn't realize this event makes or breaks us. Nobody really cares, at least not like I do. Bill's average weekend was a lot like the rest of his week. It consisted of him going into the store frustrated or staying at home and obsessing on work, calling in every other hour to make sure that sales were on target and everything was going smoothly. Either way, he was no fun to be around. Hello? Hi, honey. I'm on my way home right now. I'm sorry. I just wanted to stay and make sure the displays were perfect. Janice just doesn't care. I just can't trust her to do her job. Sure, honey. I'll pick some up on the way home. Would you like vanilla or chocolate? Bill took one last look at his displays and left his outerwear store. As he was driving home, he couldn't stop thinking about the big sale. Maybe I'm a lousy boss and can't trust any of my employees. Maybe I'm too nice of a guy and let my employees go home too early. Maybe I do what I do so well that no one else can live up to my standards. His thoughts were conflicting and demotivating. His mind stopped wandering as he realized he had missed his exit. Bill took the next exit and saw a light in the distance. He followed the light and drove up to what looked like a rundown gas station. Bucks Bass and Bait. Now that'd be the place to have. No hassles, little overhead, and hardly any employees. I'm looking for some ice cream and the quickest way back to the interstate. I didn't think I recognized you. I know all my customers. The ice cream's right over there in that fridge. Bill's eyes took in the store. They sold fishing supplies, snacks, beer. Bucks, bass, and bait. Hello, officer. No, I haven't seen him around lately, but I'll be sure to keep my eyes open. Am I doing okay? Well, you know it. All right, bye-bye. Looks like you got a pretty good business going on here. How long have you owned it? Well, I worked for the previous owner, and then he then just... Then you thought you could do it better, and you bought him out, right? Well, yeah, no... Yeah, that's the only way I've seen it happen. Employees just don't care about their jobs like the owners do. Now, if you'd let me speak, I'd set you straight. This is Buck's Bass and Bait. Buck owns the place. And yes, I did work for the previous owner, but he went broke trying to run this place. Oh, I'm sorry. I just thought by the way you were handling all the money and seemed to run the store... I do run the store. It's like I always say. I'm the boss, and Buck, he's just the owner. Well, do you mind if I ask you about the phone call with the policeman? What was that all about? Oh, that's just my parole officer. He calls in every now and again just to check up on me, and he gives me leads on new employees, too. Mostly people just getting out of jail. You mean you hire... Yes, we hire people like me. In fact, come to think of it, all of our employees have had some run-ins with the law, but they're good people. Sometimes we even call this place an ex-convenience store. <laughs> Bill felt he had imposed enough, but was intrigued with this buck guy. Well, I really got to meet this buck guy. I got to figure out how he does this. If you want to meet Buck, he'll be in at one. Ah, poor sucker works a late shift. Typical owner after all. Well, I got nothing better to do. It's already past midnight. Well, I'd recommend you getting some sleep. But if you want to stay here until after lunch tomorrow, you can. Buck comes in at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. He only works a few hours a day anymore. You're more than welcome to wait if you want. But um, that ice cream, it might get a little runny. <laughs> well, I definitely got to meet Buck. Tell him I'll be here tomorrow. All right, I'll let him know. You have a good night now. On his way to the store the next morning, Bill was thinking of the annual sale. He was rehearsing his conversation with Janice. 
He was a master at those conversations. Janice, it's obvious you just don't care. Either get your act together or you're out. Janice, I've had it. Either start acting like a store manager or you're out of here. But Bill never spoke that way to Janice. He normally used a different approach. Hi, Janice. I really liked your displays. I just stayed late last night and tweaked them a little bit. And I knew you wouldn't mind, right? To which Janice would always smile and say nothing. But today was different. When he got into work, he noticed Janice was crying. Janice, what's wrong? You did it again! You changed all my work. I have no purpose here, no value. I don't know why I bother doing anything at all when you're just going to change it. Well, you think you can do it better than me? Do it without me. I quit. But Janice, you can't quit. You're my best employee. Besides, the big sale starts tomorrow. I'm not leaving before the big sale starts. I care too much and have invested too much in this place to leave before it begins. Suddenly, all of the thoughts and display ideas that Bill had implemented the night before didn't seem like that big of a deal. Bill thought to himself, Maybe Janice's way was better. Maybe my ideas aren't even as good as hers. Maybe now would be a good time to talk to Buck. Besides, things aren't very comfortable here at the store. <laughs> he drove up to Buck's, but before he walked in, Bill wondered what Buck had that he didn't. Bill walked in and immediately noticed several people about the store. They were tough looking people, but they seemed to get along with each other. Well, hey there. I thought you might stop back by. Are you here to talk to Buck? Yeah, but first I gotta figure out, how does he afford to pay all these employees? Employees? We only got two people working today. The rest of these people are customers. Some of them have been here since six in the morning. Six in the morning? Boy, those are some pretty loyal customers. Yeah, I guess. I'd call them some pretty loyal beer drinkers. <laughs> Buck's around back if you want to go talk to him. All right. Do you think he'd mind if I recorded him? Oh, no. He'd probably love it. You can go ahead and go on back. Great. Thanks. Yeah, all right. <laughs> 